YouTube, welcome back to another review. Today's review is going to be on the Marvel Legends Astonishing X-Men Cyclops. So, like always, this is the windowless packaging. On the front, you see a promo pic of the figure itself. On the side, you get some character artwork of uh, Astonishing X-Men Cyclops. On the back, you get some info about the figure again and what he comes with as well as another product shot. And then on this side, you get the information about the Chod Build-A-Figure and what figures come with which Build-A-Figure part. So, like always, with that being said, let's get into it. All right, so this is how the figure looks outside of the packaging. Now, I have to say, I am super excited about this figure. Uh, this character, and, and, and more or less... This costume in particular is uh, a costume that is one of my favorite costumes for Cyclops. Cyclops is probably one of my favorite X-Men characters, as well as, you know, he's up there on one of my Marvel characters as well. I know that a lot of people consider the Jim Lee style costume to be the most iconic look for Cyclops. And I agree that that Jim Lee costume is iconic. But when I also think about costumes, uh, this primarily was the costume that I kind of gravitate more towards um, not only this being my favorite costume but uh, you know in the early to mid kind of 2000s I want to say this was definitely a costume that was very prominent uh, the Astonishing X-Men run is a great run and so this is why this character uh, or this costume in particular holds a lot of uh, you know sentimental value and kind of nostalgia to me uh, this was featured in not only, you know, things such as like Wolverine and the X-Men, as well as like, you know, like Marvel Ultimate Alliance. Uh, but also, I remember being younger, and I was probably around like 15 at the time. And I remember when the first uh, version of this from the uh, the Brood Build-A-Figure, uh, Brood Queen Build-A-Figure wave, I remember seeing that in uh, my local Walmart at the time and I always wanted it but you know I was at a weird age where like you know uh didn't you know I didn't I wasn't working at the time so I didn't really have money I was kind of too old for for you know to be collecting and buying figures it was a weird time for me but I remember seeing that figure in stores and I always wanted it I thought it was super dope because you know I, I really like Cyclops and especially this this costume itself so uh all these years later <laughs> um you know, almost 16 years later, we finally got another version of it. Um, and and it, it feels good to finally have this one in, in, you know, my collection now that I'm able to kind of, you know, get the things I want, the things I like. Uh, so this is why this one was definitely something that when this was announced, I, I was like, yes, I'm, I'm definitely going to get it. Um, so I was able to find this at my local Target and uh, it was an instant pickup. It was a no brainer, but Let's get into how the figure looks and the accessories and all that. So as you can see, he is on the Vulcan body sculpt. Very, very similar to the um, updated Jim Lee style cell shaded Cyclops, which I do have as well. I think that one looks super dope. And I can even break that one out for a little comparison at the end of the video. Um, but he does come with this new kind of smoldering uh, Optic blast effect, opt optic blast effect, um, which looks really dope. I know this is removable. Oh, look at that! Yep, it removes just like that, and you can pour it in other um, optic blast effects. I unfortunately do not have any. I really want to get the House of X Cyclops, just to be able to get that optic blast effect. And I think I'm not sure. But I know, I believe that the, the head and the visor are actually the same color as this one. So I'm hoping that you can just do a head swap, um, which would be super dope. But nonetheless, this looks really cool. I like the effect. It comes in and out, no problem. I'll just take it out for the sake of the review. Um, and then he does have that pinless body all the way through. And this is just a huge I improvement from that, from that, I believe it was Hasbro at the time. The Hasbro Brood Queen build a figure. Um, this just is just leagues above that, um, which makes sense because I mean that that the time that has passed has been crazy. Um, but it goes up and down. Uh, he does have the, uh, you know, goes up. You do you see the butterfly joints right there? That works really well. 
upper bicep swivel, double jointed elbows. Uh, he does have double jointed elbows because I just kind of took him out. There you go. A little bit kind of stiff. And that's a really nice double joint. Uh, real nice. And then he does have the horizontal hinge on the peg for the hands. He has an ab crunch and a waist swivel. Let go up, out. Not that much, but you know, you don't really need him, need him to be that agile. He does have a nice thigh swivel. One thing I will say is that these thigh swivels are really nice. Very, very smooth. No kind of uh, issues with getting them swiveled. Um, he does have the double jointed knee. Man, these double joints on this Vulcan body mold are just amazing. Uh, that goes up, down, and then pivots as well. So with that being said, let's get into the accessory. So for the accessory, he doesn't come with much. He does come with an open, uh, relaxed right hand, as well as the optic blast left hand. I wish that we could have got different sets. I wish we could have got a right-handed optic blast effect, as well as a left relaxed hand. Uh, I'm not a fan of one that, you know, Hasbro or whatever company does that. Um, it'd be nice to be able to get matching sets. I'm a big fan of matching sets, right? I mean, when I think of Cyclops, I always think of him kind of using his right hand for the optic blast effect. And I know it's not even really a big deal, to be quite honest. But, I mean, that's just something that I wish that you could have, right? Um, but, nonetheless, I'm really digging this figure. Uh, this is super dope and you know this brings us one step closer to be able to getting our you know an astonishing x-men i know that they did also come out with the emma frost which i will be looking to get also all right and this is how the two cyclops stand side by side with each other as you can see they're on the same body mold but i will say that the the 90s style jim lee x-men body just looks so much better um the way that the body looks, you definitely see all the muscle definition and everything like that. Um, which is actually, I actually kind of like that detail. I mean, because this one feels more like an actual suit, right? This one um, is also a suit, but I don't know. I feel like the muscle definition and everything, it just, it. I don't know. That's just me, but whatever. Regardless, you do see that uh, he does come with um, the same optic blast uh left hand but if you notice on this one it's actually sculpted differently so i wonder why they didn't give um astonishing cyclops that same optic blast effect right this one is, is, is definitely different the fingers on this one are curved this one is kind of straight um, but nonetheless this body mold looks really good together i really like it um yeah i'm super excited to you know like i said to continue my astonishing x-men so i know that you guys are probably looking to get you know if you're looking to complete the team um what i did was i took the heat claws wolverine and i actually just painted the uh the shoulder pads so this will be my kind of makeshift uh astonishing x-men wolverine um in the comics he pretty much has the same exact outfit except sometimes he's featured with like an x on the chest um on the left uh left peck or whatever but nonetheless if you're looking to kind of get one for the meantime this uh heat claws one is really dope i ended up just kind of painting the uh the claws silver as well as well as shoulder pads so now you can't really even notice it right that it's a different shade the other one originally was a like black so you could definitely tell the difference but let me know what you guys think thank you so much for watching take care peace